Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American Christmas thriller and fantasy movie, called Krampus. The movie opens with a group of people storming a store a few days before Christmas. However, most of them fight over discounted items and mess up everything in the store due to too much excitement. A few moments later, a family comes home after shopping at the store. The family includes a boy named Max, his teenage sister Beth, their parents Tom and Sarah, and Tom's mother Omi, who speaks mostly German. Max remains a firm believer in Santa Claus, while the others don't. While Max takes his family to watch Christmas movies or wrap Christmas presents together, Tom, Sarah, and Beth are busy with their own activities. As a result, Max is disappointed, but Omi tries to cheer him up and tells him to write a letter for Santa Claus. Not long after that, Sarah's side of the family also visits their home to celebrate Christmas. The family includes Sarah's sister Linda, Linda's husband Howard, their children Howie, Stevie, Jordan, and baby Chrissy, Sarah and Linda's cantankerous Aunt Dorothy, as well as their bulldog Rosie. Apparently, Max's family does not really like Howard's family visits because they always make trouble all the time. Moreover, Max wants to continue family traditions, but tensions among his relatives sap their Christmas spirit. While they are all having dinner together, Stevie and Jordan mock Max for still believing Santa. Not only that, his cousins even read out his letter to Santa. Knowing this, Max immediately fights with them and yells out that he hates his whole family and even Christmas. When he reads his letter for the second time, his father suddenly comes in to comfort him. Tom tells Max that he should always love his family even if they always cause trouble. But since Max is still mad about it, he tears up the letter and throws it to the wind outside. Somehow, the letter is swept up into the sky, and a severe blizzard engulfs the town, causing a power outage. The next morning, things only get worse as the power is still out and the blizzard is getting heavier. In addition, they also find an oversized sack which mysteriously arrived at their doorstep. As they consider what to do next, Beth ventures out to check on her boyfriend a few blocks ahead. As she is walking down the snowy road, the weather suddenly worsens and a large horned creature chases after her. Beth quickly runs and hides beneath a delivery truck, but the creature leaves a jack-in-the-box, which immediately attacks her and gives the impression that she is killed. Back home, Max sees more snowmen than before. On the other hand, Tom and Sarah stare at the window thinking about their daughter who is not home yet. Because of that, Tom enlists Howard's help in searching Beth using his car. However, Omi does not want Tom to leave the house as it is unsafe and too dangerous. Regardless, Tom and Howard venture into the snowy darkness, and the two come across an abandoned snowplow in the middle of the road. Seeing that something bad had attacked the vehicle, Howard takes his gun from his car as a precaution. Arriving at their designated location, the two find Beth's boyfriend's house in ruins with the chimney split open and large goat-like hoof prints in the house. While returning to the car, Howard is suddenly attacked by an unseen snow monster hidden in snow. Fortunately, Tom manages to save Howard from the monster by shooting it with his gun. After that, they hobble back, only to find that their car was destroyed. This forces them to walk back to the house. Upon arrival, Tom quickly tends to Howard's wound, while the adults lead the kids and elderly into the kitchen, so they can discuss what happened just now. But before that, Omi reminds Tom to keep the fire hot. After a long argument, the adults finally agree with Tom's idea to stay put and board up all the doors and windows. Everybody tries to get some sleep, except Howard who volunteers to stand guard. However, he promptly falls asleep that night, letting the fire die out. Soon, a large hook with a living gingerbread man attached is lowered from the chimney. It then makes a strange sound to lure Howie to the chimney. It comes to life and quickly wraps Howie to be dragged up the chimney. This causes everyone to wake up, and they try to save him. Unluckily, Howie is eventually wrenched from their grip despite their best efforts to save him. Furthermore, a fire log is inadvertently kicked aside during their struggle to save Howie. Hence, Tom quickly orders Max to put out the fire using a fire extinguisher. At that moment, Omi finally explains that the creature hunting them is Krampus, an ancient demonic spirit who punishes those who have lost the Christmas spirit. Omi recounts that when she was a child, her parents and community lost their spirit due to the hardships of the war in Europe. Having lost hope with her family, she also wished for her parents to be taken away, so at Christmas that year, her wish accidentally summoned Krampus, who comes to take and punish rather than to give and reward. He and his helpers dragged all of her families the underworld, but Omi was left behind and given a bell bauble with his name on it as a reminder of the consequences of losing Christmas spirit. After telling the story, the family remains skeptical, especially for Howard who intends to find Howie and Beth on his own. 
However, he ends up abandoning his plan after seeing so many terrifying snowmen outside as well as some mysterious creatures running around. Afterwards, Tom devises a plan to escape the house to find another shelter. While the briefing is going on, the doorstep gifts start opening themselves, and Max catches a glimpse of Krampus outside. On the other side, Stevie and Jordan are heading to the bathroom, but both of them are eventually lured into the attic by Beth's voice. Soon after, the adults downstairs hear them screaming. Tom, Sarah, and Linda quickly go up to investigate, only to find Jordan being eaten by a monstrous clown, the jack-in-the-box from before. At first, the three of them struggle to fight off the living toys, but luckily, an enraged Linda manages to fend them off for a while after seeing Stevie lying near the monstrous clown, who scurries away into the air duct. At the same time, Howard is investigating a strange noise in the kitchen. Suddenly, he receives shots from a nail gun and discovers a group of gingerbread men. He quickly defends himself using a wooden board and then fires on them. Thankfully, Rosie hops in just in time to finish them off. Once they are all reunited downstairs, they try to track the monstrous clown. Max finally sends Rosie to the air duct, but his idea seems to fail after the monstrous clown eats Rosie and falls to the floor below. Dorothy quickly takes the gun and finishes some of the living toys, but Krampus elves suddenly leap in through a window, taking Dorothy and Chrissy. Desperate to get his kids back, Howard decides to jump on the monstrous clown's back and then disappears after. Just then, the elves also back away after hearing Krampus howls. Tom decides that all of them should flee to an abandoned snowplow on the streets outside. However, Omi chooses to stay behind to distract Krampus, who quickly emerges from the fireplace. The two have a brief reunion, during which he attacks her with his bag of toys. In the meantime, the group continue their escape, but Tom ends up sacrificing himself to be eaten by the snow monster. Sadly, it also manages to eat Linda and Sarah, leaving Max and Stevie in the snowplow. When they are about to start the engine, Stevie is suddenly captured by the elves. Meanwhile, Krampus confronts Max and gives him a bell bauble wrapped in a piece of his discarded letter as a reminder of the consequences of losing Christmas spirit. Realizing that tearing up the letter was what summoned Krampus there in the first place, Max chases after him and returns the bell bauble, trying to unwish the loss of his family in exchange. However, Krampus ignores him and the pit of underworld suddenly opens before him. When Stevie is about to be thrown into the underworld, Max begs Krampus to spare her life and offer himself as a sacrifice instead. Unfortunately, Krampus refuses and decides to toss Stevie into underworld. At that point, Max honestly apologizes for losing his Christmas spirit. Although Krampus seems to accept his apology, he ends up tossing Max into the pit. Afterwards, Max awakens in his house on Christmas morning. He immediately runs to the window and looks outside to see the joyful atmosphere of Christmas. Max also discovers that his family is still alive and well downstairs, enjoying their normal Christmas rituals. Thus, he thinks that what happened was just a nightmare. He then unwraps his Christmas present, only to reveal Krampus bauble. This causes the family to be shown with ominous looks on their faces as their memories of the horrific event slowly return to them. The camera pans out, revealing that they all are stuck inside an eternal Christmas magical snow globe, along with hundreds of others in a vast collection in the underworld. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.